review Everybody get your hands up for the brew review Come on everybody, let's dip it on back Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC Everybody here knows that it's BYOB Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for you, another fun edition of the Brew Review, and what we got for you today is another Linden Kugels product, mm -hmm. and we've had them on the show one other time last season. Yes, we had their Winter Porter, their Vanilla Winter Porter, which we actually gave a really good review on, we yeah. really liked it. But you know what, on this hot summer balmy night when it's 90 degrees out, I you, wish. Just want, you just want to sit back and enjoy a summer shandy. Wait a minute, it's not summer, is it? No, if it, it those of you who are watching right now, when it airs, it's like fucking blowing snow and shit. Yeah, well, as we're filming this, it's October, so I don't know. Summer shan. Well, summer shandy Yingling is still selling summer weast, but well, maybe that's leftovers. I guess that's true, but you know, a summer shandy in October just doesn't sound right. You need a, a, a what kind of a beer is good for an October? It's like you know, festival type of thing. It's hmm. October. You hear the Fe chicken dance? A festival in October. What could Octoberfest! Octoberfest! Well, wait, what do I have down here? Well, what do you know? Lightning Kugel does an Octoberfest, so it's yeah. a double shot tonight. So you have the best of summer, and for those of you that love summer and or never, summer hangover and never want it to go away because of the cold, you can bring your summer with you to Octoberfest. So tonight we have a summer and a fall brew. We already did the winter one, so what? All we need is the spring is brew? Spring, yeah. Which and we'll I have the whole know. series. I don't know what that is, but... I'm sure some of you out there can help us out. Yep, for those of you... Maybe PA Brew News who watches this program. No doubt, no doubt. Help us out with that. But uh, I think we did the history on this stuff before. Yeah, I believe, what, episode 87 oh, yeah. during my Broken Ankle series? To join the Line Lodge or to order official wearables, call toll-free 1-888-LINES or lines.com, whatever. I wonder if they sell Lennon Kugel's thongs. Brewed with pride by Line and Kugel family since 1867. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I've actually had the Summer Shandy, but I've only had it in draft form. And, of course, the caps, the caps are actually just about the same. Uh, so Sort of. That's not that's, really. That's kind of got a lemony on it. And then that's got kind of like a tablecloth. But uh, a little checkered. Yeah, Oktoberfest, the German style Mars Marsen, carefully brewed by the Lion Kugel family for six Wouldn't generations. Wouldn't it be nice to be laying along the beach, enjoying a summer shandy? Yeah. But That'd we're be... not at the beach. We're here. But we were here tonight. Yes, we were. Oktoberfest Octoberfest. in Carlisle. A perfect beer to celebrate the fall. Oh, I did a video about the shitters there. If you look back at the stupid random bit of the day list. Featuring Munich Pale and Caramel Malts with four specialty hops. So, hmm. Let's see if this Oktoberfest is any better than the other Oktoberfest. Well, do we want to do the summer first since it comes I first? I believe we should go summer first. Okay, I'll do the honors of that one since you did the honors of the Palette Jack. Well, since you forgot, as, as tradition, we're going to do... The opening of the cap test. The body and head the test. And head the drink test. test. The draft test. The draft test. test. The Optimus Prime test. The Icky test. The Apple test. The 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 geography test. The pride of Chihuahua Falls, Wisconsin since 1867. There, I had to spit out a fact. You got your government warning. But let's go ahead and try and open this one. I think it's Chippewa Falls, but that's just me. And, and... It twisted! Ah, it's a twist. Okay, it already got two points, so we'll yeah. spell. <laughs> no matter what, it has... Whoa. Is it anything like the Dundee Summer Shandy that we had Dude, back in the day? It actually smells fucking good. <laughs> Seriously, it smells good! As opposed to it smelling shitty? No, it actually smells pretty good. I'm, I'm actually shocked. Yeah, it has a lemony flavor. But not like an overbearing lemon flavor. It's not like a sour smell either, like you would think. It smells like lemon pledge. All right. about, since I've already had it, you may go first on this one. Like I said, I've had it in draft. I've never had it in a bottle. And they're really bragging here. Highest quality. Highest quality. So, let's see. 
you love you gave what Dundee Summer Shanty what six out of five. Oh yeah, I love that stuff. Well, actually. let's see if Dundee Summer Shanty is so far, anything. As far like, as smell goes, it's actually better than D- Dundee. So well, then let's see we'll if Line and Kugel taste wise. So Line and Kugel Summer Shanty, let's try it. And he guzzles. Okay, flavor burst. And he grips that bottle, grips the shaft. With perfect, and he plays with the balls too. You gotta give the balls a little bit of a you know, tickle the balls, bot dog. <laughs> Sorry, not bad, not bad. I like the summer shandy. I like the Dundee a little bit better, but mm. very, very good. I like it. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I don't really. Other than Dundee, I don't know what to really compare it to, to be honest now, with you. Now, see, dog, he likes to shed, he, like I said, grip the shaft. you got to finger the balls a little Ooh. bit. Give them, give them a little bit of love. The burp so, is good, too. Me, I prefer the tips of the fingers. Gives it a little bit of a an even flow. I, I'm talking right out of my ass. I'm just going to be right. No wonder why everything you say is full of shit. <laughs> See, this tastes almost like a like a citrus soda, like a fresca or something like that. Um, a little bit, maybe a not. Weaker, there's a hint of it there. Maybe a weaker version of a fresca or some kind of citrusy soda. But I, I really like it though. I mean, it's mm-hmm. good. So far, so good. And we'll have to see with the drafter. I think it tastes way better than draft myself. So. We have two glasses here. We have one for Hard Rock Cafe and one for Newcastle. Yeah. Uh, eeny, meeny, we'll go to Newcastle. Yeah, Hard Rock Cafe in Baltimore. We actually ate there before uh, Ram's Head. Yeah. Newcastle, the one and only. We're not trying that tonight, though. Bah. We do have a variant of Newcastle coming sh- soon. Shortly. Yeah, soon. But we're not talking about that right now. And dip that. Huh? Like and you can see, there's not much head to it. It's very, very light. Almost no. has a champagne look to it. Very champagne, yes. A little bit very, of carbonation like champagne. Very cloudy. You definitely get a better yield of a smell in the glass. All right. Much better. That's better. Like, that's like lemon peels in there. And you go ahead and you can draft that. We're we're taking turns with the draft test. See, I always when you swirl it, it kind of the head kind of gets a little smaller when you swirl it on this one. Yeah, when you, when you swirl it, it gets smaller. <laughs> okay, draft, <laughs> draft it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's about the same either way, but I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. <laughs> Speaking of which, Dumb and Dumber two coming out soon. I think not Dumb and Dumber er. Not Dumb and Dumber er. This is the, this is original Jim Carrey and Jim. Yeah, the original sequel. We'll have to maybe set a time to go see it. Yeah. I knew a movie with a name like that would be good when I was a kid. So. Very refreshing. It's definitely this is, it, this is a beer you got to drink when it's ninety five degrees yes, out. Yes, this is what we called. What we call a refreshing beer, kind of like your uh, the Italian PBR. Yeah. Um, any light beer is just a refreshing beer that you can go out there. You can take a couple of these out to the grill, do up some burgers, some dogs, some chicken steak, whatever. It's not one that you get drunk off of. It's one that you just enjoy. You just sit back in your chair and just sip and relax and just enjoy the summer. But. All summer must end and go into fall, and that's where Oktoberfest comes in. Yes, we have we have had Shiner Oktoberfest, we've had Yingling Oktoberfest, and we've had Sam Adams Oktoberfest. So pretty much every brewery makes their own Oktoberfest. So yes. it's Linden Cool's turn at this and time. As far, as far as I can tell, I forget which one we like the best. Um, actually, know. shit, I'd have to look back at the episode. I, I'm. I'm thinking that Shiner might have been a little bit better than Yingling as far yeah, as that goes. I believe so. I think I enjoyed the Sam Adams one too, but I'm not sure. I, I they were all like a close tie though. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with an Oktoberfest unless you really truly screw it up. But let's see if Line and Kugel does their Oktoberfest any better. But so, first things first. This should be a twist it. off as we know. <laughs> And he always gets giddy when that happens, people. And it's steaming. 
I don't know if you can see, but it's... Oh, they crazy. were smart. They put the packet... They put a sticker up here to hide yes! what's missing. See that? This is, this is why we've been noticing... That, like, this is what a lot of the beers do. They hide what they don't put in. Okay, you know what? Just for that. Just for that. I'm going to give them an extra half a point. So, they already have two and a half points, regardless of what this tastes like. Just for the fact that they hide... That little gap there, and you can't tell. I know, I know, it's kind of genius and mean at the same time. But at the same time, while you're drunk, you don't question it, though. Nope, you just fucking drink it. So anyway, he's doing a smell test. It smells like an Oktoberfest to me. I mean, it's... After a while, they all kind of smell the same. Well, after a while, they all kind of drink the same after you get drunk. Yeah, it... As far as yeah, Oktoberfest goes... It's not a goes, real strong smell, though. No, not at all. This for the, no, I can't do that. Don't you tip it. <laughs> Don't oh, look, you tip it. It even says about the glass. Does it? I can't focus. Yeah, okay. right there. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I guess it tells you what type of glass to use when you pour <laughs> it. Interesting. Well, we don't have... Well, we do have specialty glasses, but I'm too lazy and hammered to go up there and do it. Well, you want me to hit this one? Go ahead. Go right Wait. ahead. Lenny Kugel's Oktoberfest. Let's try it. See if it's any better than the other ones. Okay, we'll flavor burst and it. Flavor burst it. I think. I think. I think. I think. Hold on here. I think. I. Think. Think. No, no, people. I'm not drunk. I'm just fucking around here. No, I actually like it. However, I think Shiner is still at the top of the heat when it comes to Oktoberfest. Really? Yeah, but I do like it. I do recommend it so far. See, your memory on beers is so better, so much better than mine. I don't remember what Shiner tasted like. I. Just... Well, we've done like what? This is like our 115th episode. I forget to mention that. I don't even. Our could, livers are hating us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, could somebody please email me my name? Because I kind of totally forgot my name by now. Where the hell am I? I don't even know where I'm at. I forgot what we are doing, Kramitz. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm not drunk! Back to the letter. Fuck you! Fuck you! Has a good after burp. And it's German style. And it, what, German style Marzen? 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 I don't know. Dark. It tastes like a dark beer. Almost, I would say almost borderline even stout or maybe even kind of a, um, what the hell am I thinking mm, of? To me Bach. they're... Maybe a box? Yeah, yeah, that's closer. Yeah, it doesn't, I don't really taste any hint of stout in that. Mm -mm. Yeah, you're right. It's more of a box. Balkish taste, if I, that I'm, makes I'm sense. I'm saying like borderline stout. Almost, you, if it was any darker in taste and maybe a little bit more of a coffee taste, I would say it's damn near port or even stout. Yeah. But more Bach. Uh. Anyway. Now let's see how dark it is. So we're going to put it in the hard rock. There he is. Oh, yes, look how dark it is. Yes, much darker than the last one. No, yes, yeah, so much shandies. But those, so those shandies tend to be lighter, but this kind of has a cream soda comparison. Oh, yeah. With, uh, the head is shrinking. The head is she said. slowly shrinking. But it was a centimeter when it started. Lots of carbonation. You can see through it. You don't want a shrinking head. The women don't like that. Mm -mm. So he swirls. Swirl a little bit before we smell. Yeah, you get a much, better, a much fuller aroma again in the glass. There we go. I don't know. Maybe this is just me thinking differently, but I think you get more of an aroma out of the bottle because of the cap trapping it in. This is and true. And when you open it up, you get the first whiff of it. But yeah, and plus it smells you, good, so I'll, I'll go ahead and draft. Yeah, plus when you pour it in, it mixes everything together, so it might actually taste even better in the glass. I agree. You got a glass. This totally. Thing. Glass, glass this bitch up. Just draft the shit out. You got to draft the fuck out of it. Notice how he has to one-up everything. I, I say glass the shit out. He has glass the fuck out. Well, we're not censored here at the whip, so we don't give a fuck. 
See, if we'd have taken over that Channel 8 van tonight, they'd have, like, banned us, like, one second in. <laughs> definitely, definitely a drafter. Yeah, so... It tastes a lot more better than glass. Yeah, this company... We'll, we'll talk ratings here. They are, like, 3-3 three and three right now with me. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say... The Summer Shandy, I'm gonna give a 4.5. I'm gonna give that one also a 4.5. So... They're both definitely case-worthy, gift-pack-worthy. However you get them, they're worthy of any anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far, Lion and Coop has been really good. Again, when we did their vanilla porter, I was totally expecting... Now, there was no vanilla in it, however, it tasted good. Yeah, it was as smooth as a porter if I've ever had, and I'm not a big porter fan at all. And Nala's trying to sniff and me. And Nala's trying to sniff you. She must like you. I don't know. But, uh, ratings for me... Hmm. Well, since I like the lighter beers, so the Summer Shandy, I'm going to go five. I really like On the, the Shandy. I really like it. I really do like the Summer Shandy. Hmm. Oktoberfest, I'm going to go four and a half, like you said. Yeah. Uh, again, I'd have to go back and watch it, but I dare say I like the Sam Adams Oktoberfest better than all of them. I don't know. I, I can't remember. It sticks in my head that Shiner won the contest with me, but they're all damn close. Like, yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with an Oktoberfest, in my opinion. I think after a while, all the Oktoberfest taste the same. But that just could be me. I think, like I said, every brand out there pretty much has their own Oktoberfest. I mean, I just bought a case of the Yingling, and it tastes really no different than this. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole story behind Yingling Oktoberfest. West Virginia must run a couple weeks behind PA when it comes to releasing their new brews. I couldn't find it anywhere down there when we had it up here for a couple weeks. But Does that, Is that like the same way that Hard Times didn't have any Yingling? That was bullshit. Maybe they had a Yingling shortage that week. Yeah, but they're only five miles out of Pennsylvania. Come on now. Fuck. <laughs> Don't he get me gets, start. Don't get me started on that one. This man gets pissed when he don't get his. Lawyer. I do. Yeah, I get pissed when I don't get my fucking Yingling. He don't get his Yingling. He fucks your wife. So shout out. <laughs> that was odd. So shout out to Hard Times last night and shout out to Gold Crown in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Y'all need to carry some fucking Yingling. Or you know, pay us and we'll take it to you. Yeah. yeah, damn it. I'll load the back of my fucking... Uh, I'll load the back of Casper up with it and yeah. drive it down there. If you don't get his yingling, he fucks your wife. I don't think my girlfriend would like that too well. It's from the campaign, whatever. I know, I'm just kidding. Okay. All right, well, this concludes this episode, awkward episode, of Lennon Kugel's Summer Shandy and Lennon Kugel's Oktoberfest, and we do highly recommend them. Very good. So far, everything from Lennon Kugel, we like it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, there you go. We got more coming, more coming your way, and we'll see you later.